Hold on. I guess, um, I just thought that if I got my sister laid, it would get the little wax lion to shut up. The wax lion wanted I your sister to have sex? I'm assuming. Does the little wax lion ever tell you to burn things or hurt people? He's probably working up to that. You're just teasing me about the lion, right? Yeah, of course. I think the universe is conspiring against me. The whole universe? Yeah. N not just like the Milky Way or planet Earth, but the entire universe? All of creation. It's a plot. I know that now. And what's the universe plotting? I couldn't tell you. Vanna hasn't turned over enough letters yet. I always thought that Vanna White had a big head. Me too, actually. <laughs> See? Sympathico. <coughs> Why do they always sacrifice the pretty ones? I guess killing pretty people is easier than killing ugly people. Although you'd think the opposite would be true. You know, I don't get why she didn't just paddle to the other side of the river. I mean, it's not that far. She was surrendering to destiny. Oh, is that it? You know, this group used to travel in tours and they did this whole surrender to destiny promotion in the 80s. And then some cult used it as an endorsement for mass suicide. Really? Mm-hmm. Bunch of them piled into canoes and went over the edge. They were pulling bodies out of the rivers for weeks. That wasn't any of the brochures. There was a lot of media coverage. Surprisingly good for business. Well, for those of us not in cults, I think there's something to be said for surrendering to destiny. I mean, if it's destiny, there's probably a reason for it, right? Okay. So why struggle with fate? Life can be sort of peaceful when you stop struggling. It's kind of like drowning that way. <laughs> <laughs>